Hello, welcome back. This is question two of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics routine in May June 2024, paper 4 1. If this is the first video you are seeing in this series, please kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics, paper 4 1, May June 2024. Video one is there. Question 2a. On the grid, draw the image of round figure 1, triangle T after the reflection in the X axis. Okay, so the best practice is to label the vertices of the triangle. So I can call this A, B, and C. Okay, so this is the uh, line of symmetry or the mirror line, that is the X axis. Okay. So to reflect this, we just count from each of the points to the line of symmetry or reflection line. So for point A, so that would be 1. So you count 1 here. So this would be A prime. A prime, that's the image for point B. So you have 1, 2, 3. So you have 1, 2, 3. So it will be up here. So let's scroll up a little bit. Okay, good. So this will be B prime and for C it will be on the same level, okay, as B prime. So look at it here. One, two, three. So you should have one, two, three. So this is what you have as the image. So this will be C prime. So I can connect the three point together from A prime to B prime. Then, oh sorry, this should be here. So B prime, okay, then from B prime to C prime, okay, and C prime to back to A prime. So that would be the image of the triangle T, okay. So round figure two, uh, the image of triangle T after a translation by the vector minus five minus two. So X equals to, sorry, Let's pick this. So x is equals to x equals to negative five and y equals to negative two. It means uh, we uh, move towards the right hand side and we come down. So that is the meaning of this. Okay. So let's go to the shape that is triangle T. Okay. So for point A, so we're going to count two towards this left hand side and uh sorry we're going to count five towards this left hand side and two down so that is the uh, meaning of this uh vector okay x equals to negative five that is five to the left then y equals to negative two that means two downward okay so for point a so you have one two three four five so then we go from here, we go down two times, one, two, so the point will be here. Okay, so let's remove this. So you can call this A uh, prime, prime, A prime, prime. Okay, so for point B, so you have one, two, three, four, five, then one, two. Okay, so let's take that again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So this will be B prime prime and for c of course you should know where it should be but you can still count one two three four five okay then one two so it will be here so that will be c prime prime okay so let's write this here a prime prime so let's connect them together from a prime prime to b prime prime then to c prime prime Okay, then back to a prime prime okay so that will be the image of triangle t after a translation by vector minus five minus two Roman figure three triangle t after enlargement by scale factor of negative a half or negative 0 0.5 with center minus one comma one okay so the first thing is to uh, locate the center of enlargement that is x equals to negative one then y equals to one so negative one 
y equals to 1 will be here so this is the center of enlargement okay and the scale factor is a fraction so that means the uh, image of the enlargement will be smaller than the object and this negative sign tells us that we have to move in opposite direction so let me show you okay so this is the center of enlargement so from triangle uh for, from the center we count the steps to each of the vertices of um triangle t okay then we go in opposite direction because of the minus there okay so let's start with point a okay so from the center of um, alignment you have one two three okay then one two so let me write it here three like this okay then we have two downward so that is the direction let's see again one two three then one two okay so from the center of alignment now we have to go um so we have to move in opposite direction okay that is we're going to go like this and we'll go up okay so but don't forget the scale factor is what is uh minus one over two so that minus tells us to move in opposite direction okay and uh one over two we just multiply it by each of these to tell us the steps okay how many steps are we going to take in opposite direction so that is uh three times one over two so that will be uh one and a half and this will be one okay so for this one three times one over two that will be 1.5 that means we need to take one and a half step from the center of enlargement okay towards opposite direction okay of this okay so that means like this which will be one then a half which will be here okay then we go down to uh we go up two times uh, one times rather we go we go up one time because two times a half is one okay so one a half towards the direction one a half then go up once so it will be the middle here so this is where we have uh point a prime 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 okay so let's uh, go to b from center of enlargement let's come to b one two okay then one two three four okay you can see that we have two towards this direction then four towards this direction so let's confirm that again one two one two three four so if you multiply each of these by the scale factor okay so if you multiply each of these by the scale factor so we're going to have uh, two times one over two so that will be one okay one and uh four times one over two that will be two okay but we're going to go opposite direction because of the negative sign in our scale factor okay so from the center of enlargement so let's count one backward it will be one then we need to count two upward okay so that will be one and two so it will be here so let me remove this so it will be here so this is where we have b prime 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 so let's write a prime 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 here and for the last one from the center of enlargement you have one two three four five six then one two three four so we have six like this and we have four like this so if we multiply by the scale factor so this will be three and this will be two and we move in opposite direction so center of enlargement so let's count three one two three then two up one two so c prime prime will be here c prime 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 will be here let's connect the three points together from here to here to here and back to a prime 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 so this will be the image of triangle t after an enlargement by scale factor of negative one over two with center minus one comma one so let's go to the next question that will be part b a shape p is enlarged by scale factor three to give shape q shape q is then enlarged by scale factor two fifth to give shape r 
the area of shape P is 10 squared centimeters. Calculate the area of shape R. So let's denote the area of shape B by A subscript P. Then the area of shape R by A subscript R. Okay, it will be equals to uh, length of shape P squared over length of shape R squared. Okay, so we want to find the area of shape R. So we already know this. So we need to find the ratio of these two uh, shapes. That is shape P and shape R respectively. Okay, so let's go back to the statement here. So if shape P is enlarged by a scale factor of 3 to give uh, shape Q, the implication is that shape P will be 1, while shape Q will be 3. So that will be their ratio, okay? Because when you enlarge this shape P by a scale factor of 3, then you get shape Q. Okay, so similarly, uh, if you uh, enlarge uh, shape Q by this factor 2, uh, by this scale factor 2 over 5, okay, so you get shape R. So you can say R will be equals to um, 2 over 5, okay. So let's say Q will be equals to 1, that's the ratio of Q. So then R will be equals to 2 fifths. Okay, so when you enlarge shape Q by this scale factor, you get shape R. Okay, so now we need to ensure that the ratio of Q here and the ratio of Q here are similar. Okay, so that is when we can now get the ratio of the three shapes. Okay, so since the uh, ratio of Q here is uh, 3. Okay, so we can multiply this ratio by 3. So if you multiply this by 3, so Q will also be 3 here. And this will be ratio 3 times 2, 6 over 5. Okay, so that implies uh, that uh, the ratio of P, okay, I, can, I think I can write it here. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. So the ratio of P, uh, okay, let's say Q. Q ratio, P ratio r now will be equals to 3 1 and uh, 6 over 5 okay so because the ratio of q in these two instances is uh, 3 okay so we can see that now so this is what we're going to use to get the uh, ratio of this uh, proportion of the sides here for these two shapes that is shape uh, shapes uh, p and r respectively okay so i can input my uh, values so the area of shape p is 10 so i can put 10 here over area of shape r that we want to find equals to um, the length of shape p is 1 so we'll say 1 squared okay over uh, the length of shape r is, is um, 6 over 5 okay 6 over 5 squared okay so let's simplify this Okay, so this will be equals to 10 out of area of shape R, then equals to 1 over 36 over 25. So you can find the inverse of this. So this implies that 10 out of area of shape R equals to 25 over 36 if we cross multiply. So we're going to have um, AR multiplied by 10, uh, 25 rather, by 25 equals to 10 by 36. So if you divide both sides by 25, okay, so this will cancel this. So the area of shape R will be equals to uh, this. So you can uh, easily pick your um, calculator let's input this into the calculator so we need a fraction so that will be 10 multiplied 10 multiplied by 36 okay then divided by 25 hit enter we have 72 over 5 so as a as a decimal that will be 14.4 
so it will be 14.4 squared centimeters so this will be the area of our shape r and this is the end of my solution to question two in the next video i will solve question three until then have your fingers crossed